New reaction tonight after that big story on affordable housing versus parking in Stony Creek yesterday. Some residents and businesses are telling CHCH News they are disappointed in Mayor Andrea Horvath's decision to use her strong mayor powers to try and force the council to build that housing. But others say it was the right decision. Eric Vienno joins us live now with more on this. Eric. Hi, Matt. Well, just as you said, some businesses and some residents who live in the area, some of who we just spoke to uh, just before the show started, say that they rely on this parking lot behind me. But Horvath's decision could mean that affordable housing will be built here instead. Now, the councillor for the area, Matt Francis, who is opposed to this affordable housing plan, he says that he believes Horvath's decision was undemocratic. Real strong mayor doesn't have to use strong mayor power. So real strong mayor can work with council and shouldn't have to use undemocratic measures to get her way. After a failed motion last month and a second yesterday to have affordable housing built on 5 and 13 Lake Avenue South in downtown Stony Creek, Mayor Horvath took matters into her own hands, announcing her intention to use her strong mayor powers to push the housing development. While I had hoped to avoid using my strong mayor powers, the urgency of the situation and the dire need for affordable housing in all parts of our city leaves me with no other choice. Councillor Matt Francis opposes the housing development in his ward, saying residents and businesses would suffer. In Stony Creek today, he says the opinions of the community have been loud and clear. Our phones are off the hook this morning. Um, everybody is not just disappointed, everyone's really upset and actually angry. It should probably remain as parking. Um, just by looking at it, there's just a lot of cars there. We're very disappointed that she would take that stand when the council, the will of the people, is very different. Some local businesses say they're disappointed as well. King Mount Pharmacy points to the amount of medical practices surrounding the parking lots. Imagine someone with a walker and during winter time, you know, if there is like snow, if it's not safe to walk for a long distance, they need help. They need to be very close to the medical building or to the doctor's office or to the pharmacy. So that's our main concern. At the same time, some councillors are expressing their support for Horvath's decision. It's regrettable, but we've had lots and lots of months of discussion around this. And I think everybody knew that this was a term of council priority and that the mayor was going to make sure we delivered on those. I think she did the right thing and I'll be supporting her. Political analyst Keith Leslie agrees. This is exactly why Doug Ford was handing out strong mayor powers across the province. The optics everyone knows are just terrible. Putting parking lots ahead of affordable housing when so many people are homeless, tents are encamped outside of City Hall, all of this. She just had to do this and it was absolutely the right thing to do. Now, council will have 21 days to accept or refuse Andrea Horvath's veto. A refusal will require a two-thirds majority.